So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with yet another Madden 17 online ranked match. We're going to go on ahead and use the Rams. And we get matched up against... You know, I played this game earlier this morning and I freaking forgot already. Um, damn it, who was it? Who was it? The Chiefs. There we go. He, he landed with the Chiefs because he was on the D-line block shedding freaking everything. So we're on the PlayStation side, and we are 5-0 in ranked matches on the PS4 side. And I'm only playing on this just because I was already on the console. I was playing some uh, PS4 mutt, and since I already was on the console, like, you know, let's just jump on uh, and get a ranked match instead of switching cables over and stuff like that. So, uh, well, I have a converter. I just have to switch one um HDMI, but I, damn it, I wasn't in the mood to do it. So with the Rams, obviously I want to try and run and uh, hopefully have success with that monster Todd Gurley. Now he has a very good defense in the Chiefs. You can see he's using the D line, and uh, he turns out to be a, a block shedding god. So we run. Uh, no, actually no, he just block sheds right there, forces the incomplete pass. The very next play we run, he block sheds and gets the suction. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me! Like really? All he was calling was cover one. And he was also calling uh, cover four. You know, the same place. So, once I seen he was on a D-line, he was getting block sheds. It's like, okay, you're not going to get these lucky block sheds all the time. You know, hopefully your offense isn't glitchy and we'll be okay. You know, because offensively, I feel like I'm going to be able to move the ball against you. And uh, we should be okay. Because, uh, again, you know, you shouldn't. Uh, how did he catch that? My goodness. You want to talk about threading needles, man. My Lord. First and 10 right here uh, hits me with the C route, and then he started calling that play quite often. So we got to remember that's like his go-to play. Uh, right here hits me in the flats, got nine yards, and I'm like, damn, this man is like really moving the ball against me effortlessly. So we got to try and, you know, put his back up against the wall somehow. We had him on a third down, but this man called the, a, a, I don't know. But thankfully, we stopped that screen right there. We got a nice little block shed. Very next play, he calls the screen on the left side, but we are there to track him down. Now, he did line up in a uh, a play, and then we go on ahead and, well, then he called timeout, and then he came out in field goal. So, 3-3, <clears throat> so three, three, he does get ball at halftime. So, uh, right here, again, we're feeling confident, again, because he's on a D-line. And, you know, my thoughts and opinions on somebody facing when going up against somebody on a D-line is that uh, it should be, you know, difficult for him to stop certain plays because certain plays – you know uh if you come out in stock cover three or whatever the computer is just not going to play certain routes and you have to make adjustments sometimes you have to use certain routes and combinations and he's unable to do that because he's going to be on the d line all day how do we overthrow that man he was wide open second down right here we're looking for the post over the middle and we do end up finding Tavon austin deep downfield over the middle and we get ourselves in good position so right here we're gonna go ahead and you know waste clock man we have true clock on and what i feel like was a mistake by him was that he does not call a timeout he just allows me to eat this clock up and up again still no timeout i'm gonna go ahead and call a play right here score a touchdown and only leave him 30 seconds remaining he could have easily called some timeouts got the ball back with I don't know, a minute and some change left, but he neglected to do so. Very next play, we catch an interception right there. And uh, I definitely want to try to see if we can go on ahead and get three. Again, there he is block shedding. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I got to stop running to the left because that's where he's just getting these manual block sheds. Let's run to the right. <coughs> so we have one timeout left. We drop a pass. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to kick a field goal. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe we tied the NFL record. Is the NFL record still 61 yards? Well, YOLO, if it's not, then I don't know. Well, as far as I know, 61 yards. And we tied the record right there. So that should be in the title. So I'm not clickbaiting you. Um, 13 to 3. The wind was in our favor 6 miles an hour. They actually asked me to punt the ball. I was going to come out and field goal. And if I seen that the marker was unable to reach the uh, goal post, I would have just called the timeout and punted the ball. But I had a chance to make it. I just needed the perfect kick. And thankfully, we were able to go on ahead and get that. So he starts off with ball in the second half. And even though he was moving the ball, uh, you know, decently at times, still feel like, you know, we'll be in, in uh, good shape. But then he sneaks in a run on me, and I definitely was not expecting that so he ends up uh getting a huge huge score bringing it to a three-point game so now 
were on offense, and I feel confident as almighty hell. You know, I, I really, again, don't feel like he's going to be able to live off these block shots. So we had a play, but then we stumble and fall down. So we're going to run to the right side right here. And uh, right here we got a third and short situation. We need this to avoid a punt. We're going to go back to the run right here. And I was hoping Gurley ran his ass over. But this allows us to continue to chew clock, keep the ball in our hands, and keep the ball away from him. So right here, second and nine, looking for a big play, and he had a block shed. I had to get rid of the ball quickly. Thankfully, we had somebody open in the flats just for a few yards. And then we end up going to the out route where we do pick up the first down. <coughs> Again, keeping um, the ball in our possession, keeping me, uh, allowing me to go ahead and just chew some more clock. Big run over there towards the left side. Fourth quarter is here's a. I am chewing up clock and I am chewing up a lot of it. So uh, here we go, second and ten with another run. And right here we need a first down to avoid a field goal. Third and six, and again we pick it up. When in doubt, hit him with the out as we pick up another first down. Then we run the ball to the right side right there. We pick up the block and unfor I tried to score right there. Unfortunately, I got stuck behind my own guy, but you know, it's okay because we do pick up the first down the very next play. We bring it to the two minute warning, QB sneak. We get stopped at the one. Uh, then he calls a timeout, but then we fumble the QB sneak. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Now he has an opportunity to tie the game or win the game. And I was so unbelievably upset. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. Is this how we're going to lose the game, really? On a QB sneak from the one-yard line? Uh, but right there is why you never give up on the play. I catch the deflection, and we are going to go on ahead and win the game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, it felt like it was closer than what it should have been. But nonetheless, a victory is a victory. And we're just going to go on ahead and run this ball out right here. And then we are just not even going to select the play. And game's over. And I believe he was a top 130 opponent or something like that he has a very good ranking which we're going to go on ahead and uh, show in a, in a second <coughs> excuse me so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video man leave in the comment section what teams you guys would like me to try and use next uh our recent games were the cowboys the rams the browns the 49ers the seahawks so uh, as long as it's none of those teams. <laughs> but uh, leave in the comment section. And the Bengals as well. Leave in the comment section what team you guys would like to use next. And I'll try to get you guys gameplay of that. So again, the game was closer than what it should have been. That fumble on the one yard line really got me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Because he's shown signs of being able to just dot me up. Just at good stretches. And thankfully, we just catch an INT off the deflection. So... You see, you know, we won the rushing battle, the passing battle, the the takeaways, and I just felt like uh, the score doesn't resemble the domination that we showcased this game. So, um, yeah, we're going to go on and head back out of here and show you guys his record and uh, where he ranks. And we're, like, far, far, far down the rankings because we've only played six games on the PlayStation. But, yeah. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys made it this far in the video, man, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, that is uh, his ranking. He's a top 125 opponent. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. Peace.